Well, as much as I'd like to stay positive and ignore all of the negativity, this video is long overdue. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the Liver King, he's basically the juiced up version of Rat Boy. These assholes just plagiarizing my entire persona. At least the TikTok viewers recognize these idiots for the clowns they are. Does Liver Queen Liver Queef? Give this guy a bang energy and he'll melt instantly. Liver King, I completed a simulated successful hunt on the local retirement home, collected many livers and femur bones to feast. Liver King, I just successfully concoctioned on a local preschool, now facing 35 years. Liver King out. Uh, so because I know these two assholes are going to watch this video, you know, maybe if you were half as handsome and charismatic and smart as me, you know, it, it might work out a little bit, but it's not. Uh, so myself and the Baltic psychopath popularized eating raw meat for health many years ago on YouTube. However, I added the science and research behind it in dozens and dozens and dozens of educational videos. Rad Boy is the first culprit, basically a 45-year-old reject weirdo repeating every word that comes out of my mouth. But this guy Liver King has gotten very popular on Instagram and TikTok. Of course, I can't do anything about it. You know, the second I point out the plagiarism and copycatting and how much the carnivore diet ruined my health, I get instantly banned for harassment and bullying. Yeah, as if copying someone's work and gaslighting them isn't 10 times worse. Come on, guys. The logo for Liver King's company is literally a Masonic compass, and the logo for Rat Boy's company is a Baphomet skull. I mean, the normal professional thing to do is you see someone's idea, you like it, you reach out to them to collaborate, and if you don't, you at least credit them, you know? That's one thing. When you steal their entire persona, use it to sell your snake oil supplements, you're being a deceptive degenerate that doesn't actually care about people's health. It's actually comical. I had long hair, was bodybuilding, on the carnivore diet, grounding, natural living. Dude is a carbon copy of my YouTube channel, you know, plus steroids. The asshole was probably on a standard American diet less than two years ago until his goon squad wrote a script for him. And I, I mean, I can't blame him. If I had millions of dollars and some 25 year old kid had some good ideas and I could censor him and make sure no one found out about him to promote my company, would I do it? No, because I'm not a degenerate fucking Sucker. And the biggest issue with these suckers is they lie. Lie, lie, lie over and over again. It's so disgusting. I mean, this goes so much bigger than this. You know, these people in the mainstream media, everything is a lie. But specifically, this application with what these people did with all the hard work I've done, you know. However, the younger generation on TikTok is more woke than you think and doesn't tolerate this nonsense. Needles just over yonder, lol. This ain't the only cycle he's on. Day 32 of asking for your GH protocol. Honor our trendsesters. <laughs> Boys been on test, D-ball, trend, and a sprinkle of SARMs on top since 14. <laughs> yeah. So Liver King has obviously been using steroids for many, many years. After his viewers started calling him out, he did what the rest of these shills do. Hire a bunch of fake commenters and other influencers to defend him. But many don't believe those influencers either. Oh, look how jacked he was at 14. <laughs> yeah, even the teenagers on TikTok aren't buying that nonsense. This clown has been on steroids since he left his mother's womb. But Liver King would never admit to that. Corn Faker, who was deadlifting 800 pounds at 55 years old, would never admit to it. None of these fake natties can. Not only would it discredit all of the products they're trying to sell you, they would have to admit they've been lying for the past few years. Instead, they double down and try to sell their BS to gullible people. Hold on, you can't prove he's on steroids. Yeah, and you can't prove my is 10 inches until you walk in on your girlfriend sucking it. Just like you'll need to walk in on his wife injecting his ass after she pegs him. Fucking losers. I can't stand these fucking people. Every single thing. The guy's on, on TikTok eating testicles saying it boosts your testosterone. Yeah, I wonder who popularized that idea. Fucking losers. It's so frustrating. 
This guy's outside with an ethernet cable attached to his laptop grounding. Literally every single thing I've been talking about on my channel for years and years, not an ounce of credit, absolute fucking disgusting lying shill. I can't wait till these dip because they have no idea what they're talking about. I'll be the first to their funeral to tell everyone how much of a sucker they were. I can't stand these fucking losers. I mean, clearly I have nothing positive to say today, but I'll end it on this note. The funniest thing is that Rat Boy's supplement company is literally the same one. Liver King sells his supplements to Rat Boy. Rat Boy changes the label and hikes up the price. <laughs> I don't know what type of crooked deals these people have going on, but obviously they, they can't step on other people's toes. Otherwise, they'd probably copy every single company that I have. So that's it. Uh, against my better judgment, I guess I'm posting this video. I've had enough of this nonsense. I, I mean, disgusting is, is the best word for it. And you know, if anyone understood how evil these people actually are, they would hate them to the point it would make them sick in their stomach. It, it, the lying, the deception, how they work together. It's just, it's just, I, I just can't deal with it. I just can't. They'll, they'll pull every trick in the book, lie through their teeth. They have control of the media. They'll censor you. They will do whatever they can to keep making money off of their nonsense, to keep you brainwashed and sick and unhappy. That's just how it is. And the only reason any of these people are even talking about this is because I somewhat popularized it on my YouTube channel. So, I've had enough. I've had enough.